we're going to do now is we're going to teach you how to set up your web form, uh, find out where your web form ID code is, and uh, make sure that your thank you page is set up right. Um, this is the dashboard of your GetResponse account. So once you've logged in, you want to head over here to make sure that your current campaign is set up to the campaign that you're working on. Uh, you can create your web form by clicking the Create Web Form uh, link right here, or there is a drop down from the web form options here. So we're going to click Create Web Form. On this page would be the design page. We're going to skip all the steps in here, leave everything set up as is. We don't make any changes. Scroll all the way down and hit Next. Now we're at the settings stage. What I uh, encourage you to do is change the name of the web form so that it reflects what the name of the campaign is so that you can find it in the list. Leads funnel. Leave this off, leave this off. Um, here's where we want to ch we want to change this to this. Stay on current page. This is the setting you want to choose. Stay on current page. Then we click next. This is basically you're done. You've completed your web form. Um, it's it's ready to go and it'll work. Uh, what you're looking for is your web form ID. As you can see, there are the little letters here. Web form ID equals. It's a six-digit number that you're looking for, and you want to highlight those six digits, and you want to right-click and hit copy, and then you want to flip over to your members area and Part C of Update Your Web Form ID. You want to right-click and hit paste and then you want to click the update button and that will update your web form ID uh, for your autoresponder. Alright, have yourself a great day. Bye.